But that's where I'm going to go next is Team Venezuela. And here is where I think we're going to have a really, really solid team. Uh, looking at their pitching, how about Pablo Lopez, Jesus Lizardo, Martin Perez, Darwinson Hernandez, Eduardo Rodriguez, Ranger Suarez, deep, deep, deep starting pitching and relief pitching depth. Um, a lot of these guys are going to help them as swings. You know, Luis Garcia of the Astros is going to be an in-between guy. Jose Alvarado as a relief arm. Ranger Suarez, I could even see being a 2-3 inning guy, not as a starter. We've seen how he is versatile and able to adapt. I think Venezuela are really set up nice on the pitching arms. You need a lot of arms that can get through these top talented lineups of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, and their lineup backs up the arms. It's not quite as deep, but you're talking Hall of Famers uh, and All-Stars here. Catching behind the plate, Salvador Perez is likely going to catch, um, unless they put him at DH. We'll see where they get with him. There's Omar Narvaez and Robinson Chirinos. Um, I think either of them, depending on how they're going with their defensive setup, could put them as catcher. Salvador Perez is very much a negative, negative catcher defensively but he has that pop and they're going to find a way to get salvi in the lineup i'm sure of it so we'll see chirinos is a bit older i think narvaez will likely be the catching option but i don't be surprised to see salvi behind the plate because they're going to mash especially against teams like nicaragua or team israel um, they might get more conservative with their defensive catching alignment against really athletic teams that get on base a lot like the dr or puerto rico um going to their infield Jose Altuve at second base. Um, Glaber Torres is probably his backup second baseman. Uh, at third base, you're looking at Eugenio Suarez or Eduardo Escobar. Andres Jimenez probably going to slot in at shortstop for this team. Um, maybe Renjifo. Glaber could also play short. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, so it's probably going to be Jimenez after Miguel Rojas had to pull out of the WBC uh, due to the injury with Gavin Lux. Um, that has made the team a lot more shallow. Uh, Miguel Rojas decided to stay with the team, with his club team, rather. We also have Luis Arias, who's probably going to play first base. They have a lot of middle infield or versatile middle infielder, third base type. So we'll see Luis Arias probably playing at first base, which he's a really plus-plus defender right there. A batting title champion last year. Jose Altuve has won a batting title. Labor Torres has hit a bunch of home runs before. Eddie Escobar. Andres Jimenez had a five-war season, four-war season last year. Um, not too bad. This team is really good. Not to mention Eugenio Suarez, who has been pretty great for the Seattle Mariners and the Reds in the past. And this outfield is really good. There are only three outfielders deep, but it's David Peralta. Okay, fine. Anthony Santander, perennial all-star level player, as we see for the Baltimore Orioles in the AL East. And at center field, is going to be Ronald Acuna Jr. He is really going to show out, I hope. Um, Acuna is one of the best players in all of baseball, one of the most talented players in all of baseball. I know he's been ailing a little bit with the Braves. I think if you've seen him in the Dominican League or the Venezuelan League, I think he played in the Venezuelan League last year. Uh, he shows out, and he gives it his all. And listed as a DH, they have an old but fantastic Miguel Cabrera. Uh, so you're looking at a DH option between Miguel Cabrera, Salvador Perez, Glaber Torres, I would think. Um, so you're looking at a lineup that is nine all-stars deep. The way I see it, I think the lineup's going to go something like this. I think we have uh, Jimenez to lead off. Uh, then Altuve, Acuna, two or three. Santander at four. Maybe then you jump to Salvi Perez if he's starting at five. Um, then you can go Eugenio Suarez, uh, Glaber Torres as he's if he's your DH. Don't forget about Luis Arias. He's going to hit somewhere seven to eight. And then depending on your catcher, you have like Narvaez or, or Torinos at your nine. Um, that's not a bad lineup. You can switch Miguel Cabrera uh, with Salvi Perez. I know I said Glaber. He probably wouldn't play. Um, depends on Eddie Escobar, who plays third. That's a really solid, solid lineup. 